show. I told you no touches on this show. Yeah, but just five bucks. Nothing doing. What about that star comedy you pulled out there tonight? You told me to lift up that hole in the second act, didn't you? What's the matter? Didn't you like it? Like it? It was terrible. The way the audience took it, I thought it was funny. Funny? You couldn't make me laugh no matter how good I thought. Uh, my pal. Hello, sweetie. Nix, nix. Not in the theater. Are you Mr. Melvin? Yeah. Well, I'm Bonnie King. Oh, a specialty dancer. I thought she was going to be here yesterday. Yeah, I was, but I missed connection. Yeah, that's an old gag, girly. Well, we'll see what you can do. Pete, play something snappy. Try this baby out. Come on, kid, do your stuff. I thought you said you was a specialty dancer. Oh, yeah. Then why are you doing a chorus routine? Well, it looks that way, because... That guy's playing the chorus temple. Try it again, Pete. Go ahead. Down. Hey, remember that train leaves at 11.45. You know me, skid the fire, child. I'm always there. Hey, you know me, skid the fire, child. I'm always there. Hey, how about that fine box? Well, I gotta eat. Say, I came all the way from Chicago for this job, and you ain't giving me a fair break. First, that guy starts playing a temple, you'd have to have St. Vitus to keep up with him. Then this wise cracker, whoever he is, starts bellowing across the stage. What's she raving about? Just so her, because she can't make the grade. But I can't. Honest, I can, Miss Melvin. Don't be too hard on the kid. Give her a break. I'm paying the freight on too many rummies without taking on any more. You're out. Uh, but, uh, how about the five bucks? And that's out, too. Oh, open up your heart. Now, listen. I'm sick of you, Gap, and tired of peeling out dough for you. So lay off. Well, you don't need to get tough about it. Come on, Tom. What do you want? Well, that's what I'm Of all the cheap outfits I've took with, this trick is the worst. Well, you can't fight with me over that. Traveling all night and working all day. Well, what can you expect from a gorilla like Melvin? Did you see what happened to that poor little kid tonight? That big ape. There she is out there hopping the bug. Pete's banging away at the piano, and that monster. I still think it was a dirty, rotten trick. Listen, Mr. T. Johnson. Where do you get off telling me my business? Well, somebody ought to tell you something about how to run a show. Anytime you don't like the way this show's run, you know what you can do. You bet I know what I can do. It. All right. You're through Saturday night. Not Saturday night, right now. Give me my dough. No, you owe me dough. I do. Not according to my figures. I don't. According to mine. All right. I'll even let you get away with that, you big ape. See you later, folks. <laughs> See you on Columbia. <laughs> That dinky engine couldn't get up enough steam to pull the whole load, so I got off. Gee, you didn't get fired. No, I quit. Uh, could you use a sandwich? Yes. I ain't hungry. Is that the billboard? Nothing else but. 
Can I give it the once over? Yeah. Thanks. Gee, it must be great to be on the big wheel, traveling at sleepers and playing all the regular theaters. I wish I could make the grade. You can. I've caught the last act of your show tonight. And if I know anything about show business, you were too good to be trooping with that bunch of hands. Uh, you wouldn't kid me, would you, lady? I would if I could, mister. I would if I could. Say, listen, mister. What's your name? Bonnie. Bonnie King. Mine's Skid. Skid Johnson. How are you, Skid? Great, boss. Say, you really think I could make good on the big wheel? Sure. As a, a featured comic? Well, why not? You're clever. I need it. Why don't you wire that guy? Hey, you're out of a job. Let's both wire him. Yeah, but I ain't got your talent. Ah, oh, rats. With your face and figure, baby, you could make good anywhere. There's nothing to this racket. Can you do a waltz clock? Sure you can. Come here. Let me show you something. We can fix up a room. Da, 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 Great, kid. Say, we could fix up a swell routine in no time. Sure. Let's send off that wire. You better make it easy. Make it uh, 50 bucks. Hey, this is the big wheel. They won't think you're any good. Better make it 100. Hey, wait a minute. Those guys don't pay that kind of dough. Besides, they don't know me. Well, um, how about 75? Seven. All right. I'll take a chance. There, sign it. Hey, uh, Elmer. Or oh, Rogers. Hey, useless. Well, partner, we done it. Yeah, but we ain't got no answer yet. Oh, gee, I'm sleepy. Are you? You think they'll throw us out? Oh, we're waiting for our answer, ain't we? I guess so.
Is that you, Skid? Yeah. Say, I could see you. I was running out between acts and scaring me to death. You know, you got to hurry. The last act's on. You know me, Skid the fireman's child. I can dress sliding down a pole. You been getting something to eat? No, nah, I wasn't hungry. Oh, just thirsty, huh? No, and I wasn't thirsty either. And after the show tonight, I'm going to take you to the hotel and see that you get something decent to eat. <laughs> All right, honey. Oh, Skid. Yeah? I dreamed about you last night. You did? Guess where you were. <laughs> In the Who's Gulf. No, you were on Broadway. I was? And you were knocking the soup and fish for a goal. Gee, it gave me a kick. <laughs> I don't believe in dreams. Well, I do. And this one. Gee, it was so real, I've been thinking about it ever since. <laughs> Maybe I'd better wire Ziegfeld that I've decided to let him star me. And I'm bringing you along as my leading lady. <laughs> oh, I'm laughing. But with me or without me, it's Broadway for you. You just get some ambition. You know, Bon, when you talk like that, I almost believe it. Believe it, then, because it's going to come true. <laughs> you wouldn't kid me, would you, lady? I would if I could, mister. I would if I could. <laughs> Ladies and gents, before the curtain rises on the final scene, I want to introduce to you the famous Rose Sweet. There's a prize in every package, and one of these packages contains a ten dollars gold piece. I guess we know what these mean. I'm sorry, kids, but you know how business has been, and I've got to cut down on the overhead. Well, don't apologize, Leslie. It's all in the game. I hate to do it, but... Well, if I take it out of those chorus girls, why not fire some of those fat heads you call principals? Come on, Jerry. I guess I'll have to go back to my husband. Come on, honey. It's time for tricks. Baby, you look great in that new costume. Why, he notices me. He actually notices me at last. <laughs> you always look wonderful to me, honey. I guess that's why I never mention it. way you focus on him, anybody think he was falling for you. Oh, mind your own business, will you? I will if you will. <laughs> Get wise. There ain't nobody for Skid but Bonnie. Oh, go fry yourself, you big piece of fat.
Shaking like a vibrator. Get hot. All the fellows respect me and so they neglect me and leave me alone. But I would rather be getting a bit of petting I never have known. My reputation is good, but I'm so misunderstood. I'm in the mood for confessing that I'd be caressing if only I could. I'd like to cuddle for the things I do. Desperation, I need a sensation that's new. PDQ. Though I don't think like I ain't, I can say a human as I can be. Look at these arms, look at these lips, long in company. To be concealing a feeling like this is a crime. I'm wasting time. I want to love him. Why do we love I hear you? Hello, me. I am I have my moments, and if you can spare one is moment or two. Look at that guy roping Bunny up down there. Oh, way out. Go out. Go out. Go out. Go out. Go you might get an automobile in time. <laughs> hey, Paul, did that guy hurt you? No, I'm all right. Can't you keep your line straight? Oh, go drop them. Oh, yeah. quit looking at those jobs and maybe you keep off my feet. Oh, if any jobs would look at you, you'd be happy. I'm oh, scared, Dad. I want to see you. I'll be with you in a minute, honey. Well, don't be long. You know we got a date with an act before. What's on your mind? Well, you know, Skid, business has been terrible, and, and I've got to cut down on expenses. Mm -hmm. So I'm letting several people go. Gee, that's tough. Yeah. Well, most of them have got it coming to them, but I sure hate to let Bonnie out. Bonnie? Yeah. Listen, if you're going to cut down, well, you better count me out, too. Oh, no, you're my only drawing card. Yeah, I know, but you see, Bonnie and me, well, well, we're, we're partners. Well, I wouldn't give her notice if I could figure out any possible way to keep her. You know that, Skid. Yeah, I know, but... Listen, Lefty, if it's all the same to you, keep Bonnie on and, and take it out of my salary. Oh, gee, I, I wouldn't want to do that, Skid. Ah, that's all right. Don't ever stick to me anyway. I only spend it drinking or gambling. Well, all right, Skid. Yeah, but listen, when business picks up, you gotta kick back with it. Oh, sure. Getting an earful so you can stir up some more trouble? You ought to troop melodrama. Run along, fat lady, before some sideshow steals you. Is that so? Yeah, that's so. Say, if that frame you hang your clothes on had anything to tie into, I'd suck you one just for luck. Fire away, Zeppelin. With them fat paws of yours, you're harmless. Why, you... Cut it out, Gussie. Don't you get enough exercise fighting oh, with me? Shut up, you little shrimp. 
Now look here, Gussie. You said they took on a big responsibility, Bozo, when you're tied up with that balloon. Let me assess that. You leave my wife alone. You know she's got a weak heart. You know, I didn't have the heart to slip with the notice, so I, I left it under a cold cream jar. I wonder if she found it. Hello, oh, honey. What are you doing here? Oh, nothing. When are you going to stop taking those falls? Well, they're in the plot, ain't they? Yeah, but why worry about the plot? Nobody else does. And even the guy that stole it. What are you doing? Let me see it. That's all no, right. Now, give it to me. Now, honey, it, Let it, me it, see it. What is right. it? It's just a tip on a, on a horse. <laughs> So you're playing the ponies again? Well, right? this is a hot one. Yeah, they're always hot. Well, no, no, this is right from the old feed box. But, Skid, you promised. Uh, well, all right. I'll tear it up. Thank you. about Lefty cutting down the payroll? He's letting several people go. No, gee, that's a shame. Of course, you stay, thanks to Skid. What's Skid got to do with it? Oh, nothing. Only he'll have to cut out some of his luxuries now that he's paying your way. What do you mean by that crack? Ask Skid if you don't believe me. Now, what are you trying to do, stir up some more dirt? Uh, say, uh, where's Skid? Skid? Why, he just barred off me and ducked out for a couple of, couple of... He just left. Drunk last night. Drunk the night before. Gonna get drunk tonight again if I never get drunk no more. Five o'clock. Five o'clock. You know, it's 1.30. What do you mean by waking a guy up in the middle of the day? Would you be late for the matinee? Hmm? Yeah, I brought you some fresh coffee. Yeah. And some donuts. I found out the name of that uh, horse you were going to play. Yeah? I'm prepared for a shock. Sure. I'm quitting the show. Ah, oh, Bon, you can't do that. No, I won't have you pay my salary, Skip. Well, look, Bon, don't you see? We're, we're partners, ain't we? And, and we teamed up together, and, and we're figuring on having our name in light someday. So what's the holler? If you were in my place, Skid, I know what you'd do. So I'm going to do the same thing. Yeah, but Bon, you...
Hey, Bonnie, I've been thinking over what, what you said back at the hotel and... It'd be different if I hadn't have figured someday we'd get married. You know I'm crazy about you. As though you didn't know. Hey, Bob. Will you marry me tonight, huh? Will? You'll be getting the worst of it. I'll probably lead you a heck of a life. But I love you, Bon. Honest, I do. What do you say? It's all right with me, darling. I'll take a chance. You wouldn't kid me, would you, lady? I would if I could, mister. I would if I could. Repeat these words after me. With this ring I thee wed, and with all my worldly goods I thee endow. With this ring I thee, uh, I thee wed, I thee wed, with all my worldly goods I thee uh, uh, endow. Endow. Worldly goods. The monkey's flat broke. I hereby pronounce you man and wife, for better or for worse, till death do you part. Ain't that touching? Oh, I don't know. I've seen better. You ain't never had no sentiment in your system, Bozo. May I extend my congratulations and wish you a very happy existence. Well, I'm, I'm glad that's over. Are you happy, hon? Yeah. Are you? Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm going to try and make you happy always, Bunny. I am happy. If I ever give you any reason to think otherwise, well, <laughs> you holler. Well, it's all over, eh? Yes. It's a lovely ceremony, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I think it's so much nicer to be married by a real minister than a justice of the peace. Well, Mr. Clergyman, there's the war tax. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. Well, I guess that's all. Come on. I guess we better be Thank getting back so to the hotel. Well, nice. I'm one of the clan now, Lefty. You'll find out. <laughs> Thanks. See you again sometime. I just love weddings, don't you, Bozo? Yeah. I've seen some pretty good funerals, too. I know just how you feel, dearie. I've been through it. Man, a guy in this business is some responsibility. You've got to be prepared for shocks. From now on, Lefty, it's the straight and narrow for little Willie. Yeah. Yeah. You got the keys, kid? Yeah, there it is. That's you and me from now on, honey. All-Star Johnson. There you are. Oh, wait. Wait, huh. Skid. Give her a few minutes alone. Sure. Don't you know that? <laughs> <laughs> I I'll be with you in a minute, honey. Hey, what? I got a bottle of pre-war scotch that I've been saving for just such a night as this. Oh, well, boy. drag it out, boy. You won't have it long. <laughs> you can drag it out. 
it. I've been married a good many years. And I'm on to you birds. Now, what I want to say is... I'll fix up the minute, kid. Okay. You don't want to be fixed up. Just waiting to go into Bonnie. Why, you what gone and done it, huh? Yeah. What do you know about that? Why, you dirty stay out all night going and getting them married. Let me look at you. What have you hit? Well, you've changed already. Hey, what is this? Oh, Grab one of these. What I want to tell you, now that you're married, is this. Yeah? How long have you been married? Me? I ain't never been married. Oh, pipe down. Can you imagine that mug aping about marriage? Well, may all your trouble... <laughs> Try that, will you? Oh, what, this yank? Yeah. yeah. All right. Come on, boy. All right, you ready? Come on, come on, kid. Now. Yeah. Skin. Oh, 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 Figure out what I'm... Uh, uh, sure. That's your okay. All right, do it. In the right spot. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Here we go. Oh, you're <laughs> good. Sure. Good. Sure. 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 Hey, what size did you say it was? It's 2.30. Two three. What? Right. Well, don't push me around. I'm good. Well, I got away from the gang, all right. <laughs> I'll be with you in just a minute. You know me, skid of the fireman's child. I can undress sliding on a pole. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm not good. I'm sorry, Bonnie. Yes, sir. Wait a minute, Lester. I've got something important I want to talk to you about. I want to give you our two weeks' notice. We're quitting the show. Quitting the show? Who? Me and Skid. What? You can't do that, Bon. There wouldn't be any show without Skid. Yeah, and there won't be no Skid if he sticks with this outfit much longer. Yeah, but you're just kidding. You're too good a trooper to bow out in the middle of a oh, season. I'm not thinking about myself. But Bon, for the love of... What? I'd have to close my show. Think of the other people. You can't do that. Well, we'll stay on one condition. What? You people have all got to promise to quit drinking with Skid. Well, all right, Bon. Well, I can see where Skid is going to have a heck of a time from now on. I would have said that probably, you, Lefty. Say, don't you think I know that the only wise thing he ever did was marrying you tonight? I hope you're right, Lefty. You're his one chance, Bon. I'm for you. Thanks, Lefty.
Hello, Mr. Howe. Glad to see you again. Every time we play this town, I wonder if you're going to be out in front to see the show. Bought tickets for every performance this week. Give my best regards to Miss Bonnie Singh. I'd sure like to meet her. Sure I will. Can you beat it? He's goofy about Bonnie. Every time we play this town, he's out in front of every performance. Go on, Bimbo. Kill yourself. Every time you take one of those falls, it hurts my spine. Cattle King's out front again. He's bought a seat for every performance, just like he has for the last three years. <laughs> you know, I think if I ever brought him back to meet you, he'd know there was a heaven. Oh, bring him back, Lefty. He's the only following I ever had. All right. Oh, uh, has Skid heard anything from New York yet? No. Why? Well, Zigfield's agent was in at the matinee. Right after Skid's big number, he beat it across to the telegraph office. He's in again tonight. Are you trying to get a rise out of me, Lefty? No, honest. You know, if Skid ever gets this big opportunity that you're always raving about, he's got you to thank for it. Me? Sure, and I hope he gets it. You're entitled to a break. You're a swell guy, Lefty. I will now sing you a little ballad. In fact, I titled... Uh, uh, oh, well, what's the difference? <laughs> it was written especially for me by... Monsieur Labouton Conchanton Son I'm not singing it in the native tongue. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, spread the onions, Professor, please. Mm -hmm.
Why, angels won't blame her. They, too, will name her True. New York Harbor. Don't be discouraged, dearie. Sometimes you may be a full-size woman yourself. Swallow that, Subrette. You could swallow a couple of Subrettes and it wouldn't change your shape none. Say it ain't so, dearie. Say it ain't so. Lucky for you, you're leaving tonight. Because I was hoping to take one good punch at you. It ain't too late. I'm still a few minutes before train time. I don't want to muss up that scrawny frame of yours. Shock New York as it is. Well, Mountainous, I'm planning to leave this show without staging a battle. But I don't take to that last crack of yours. No? Well, what are you going to do about it? I'm going to take one good sock at you to see how soft you really are. Hey, wait a minute. Don't get excited. You better beat it, Gussie. You'll be late for the ferry number. What is it, an elephant act? When I come back, I'm going to chase you until you find six new streets. What are you doing in my dressing room? Skid ain't here. Oh, nothing. I was just saying goodbye to Gussie. Guess I'm in the wrong room. No, you ain't in the wrong room. And before you go, Marco, I just want you to know that you didn't put nothing over on you. What do you mean? You know what I mean. I'll not stay and be insulted. You'll stay in like. I'm wise to the gag you've been giving Skid. Ever since we've been married, you've been trying to get him to drink, thinking maybe I'd get disgusted with him and you could have. That's a lie. You know I'm telling the truth. Ain't I? Ain't I? Don't you hit me. That's all. Now get out. Shooting craps in the alley again, eh? Well, it ain't no use. You get no more coin or payday. You know everything, don't you? Oh. I come down here because left to give me a telegram for Skid. Oh, I wonder who's broke now. Maybe it's an accident. Maybe somebody's cashed in. Stop cheering. No, I ain't never opened Skid's mail yet. Look here. Did you get hurt taking that last fall? Nah, that's all right. Well, if you don't care about yourself, at least think a little of me. I ain't craving to be pushing you around the wheelchair the rest of my life. Ah, oh, Bon, stop beefing. I'm all right. What's the yellow ticket? Another hearts and flowers cry for help? Gee, I forgot. It's for you. Well, fine, you tear it up. You know darn well these things always set this back a few bucks. Well, for I'm a... Oh, gosh. What's that? Yeah. Read this and see if you see the same thing I do. We'll give you chance, main comedy role, my new musical show, Sally 500 Weekly, Flo Zigfeld. <laughs> what did I tell well, you? What do you know about that? Wait a minute. You must be here to rehearse for Folly Sunday. Why are Uh, somebody's kidding me, I guess. Well, somebody's kidding me. Why, mm -hmm. you ain't even mentioned, Bonnie. You bet I ain't mentioned. What's the idea of all this temperamental stuff, Bonnie? If this telegram ain't a fake, it's a chance you've been raving about, ain't it? Well, it's your chance, all right. Well? Leave that dirty little hip that's always gurgling over you. You mean Marco? Yes, Marco, Marco, Marco. Uh, you're crazy. Who's crazy? What show was Marco joining? What a... The, gee, that's right. It's the same show, ain't it? <laughs> that's a coincidence. Yeah, I'll say it is. No one looks fool. 
Listen, you along all these years trying to pound some sense into that bean of yours. Trying to get you somewhere. And so what? Just to shove you in the same show with that, Jane. That's the break I get. Well, you can stop blowing off steam and cool out. Because I ain't going. Who said you wasn't going? I said it, and that settles it. Oh, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. Since when does what you say settle things? Well, I could be a big flop in a Broadway show. Yeah, that's the tip off. You're scared. Mm -hmm. You ain't got the nerve. Well, I'm satisfied. I got me help. You can't have everything. Yeah, and you won't even have your help if you keep on playing these tank towns much longer. Come in. Hello, Bonnie. Uh, I want you to meet Mr. Howell. It's a privilege to meet you, Mr. King. Say that to women. Take this along with you and read it. You got to fix it the next kid get away. What's it all about? Well, you'll find out when you read it now. Hurry up and come back. Well, You sure must like burlesque, Mr. Hall. I'm going to enter you in a customer's contest. Your show's the only one I ever see. How's that? It's the only chance I have of seeing you. Now, you ain't going to start kidding me, are you, Mr. Howard? I wouldn't know how to do that. I always know where you're playing. I follow your route in those theater papers. You do? Isn't it funny to have somebody thinking about you that you don't know nothing about? Sit down. Where do you live? Out in Wyoming. You got any family? Well, only my sister. Ain't you never married? No. But I'm hoping awful hard I'm going to be. I'm married. Yeah. I'm dragging the old ball and chain around. Well, I'm sorry. I was getting ready to put my foot in it. I know you was. That's why I stopped you. Do you want me to think that you're wild? No. I just want to show you something about marriage. I hear you are. And if I know anything about men, you're as fine as they come. Without knowing a thing about me, you're willing to marry me. If I wasn't cuckoo, it'd mean something to me. But all I can think of is a goofy comic upstairs, sliding all over the stage. He's a stew, and sometimes I think he doesn't give a darn about me. But he's all I can think of. And you know what I'm doing now? I'm using you to see if I can make him jealous when he comes in here. That's what marriage does to you. Well, maybe it's not marriage. Maybe it's love. Well, whatever it is, pray that it never hits you. I've got a feeling love don't have to be the way you say it is. Well, it's got to be that way with me. Because I've only loved one man. And I've got a hunch I'm never going to feel no other kind of love. Have you a drink? Thanks, I will. We don't drink to you. Yeah, to me. The sack. This is my husband, Skid Johnson, Mr. Howell. Hi, Mr. Howell. Glad to meet you. Thanks. Mr. Howell's the man that's been sitting out front every performance for the last three years. Yeah, I know. What was it, a sentence? <laughs> no. No, I just found something I like. I stuck to it. Well? That ain't a bad idea, Dad. Well, I uh, guess I'll be going. It's been a... Oh. 
It's been a treat to meet you, folks. Good night. Good night, Mr. Howe. Well, you're a fine piece of baloney. Are you going to start again? Well, what is it now? Oh, you're so wrapped up in that Marco game, you can't even see what your own wife's doing. Come on, I'll bite. What are you doing? I suppose it don't mean a thing to you to find your wife like this drinking with a strange man, does it? Well, as far as that goes, Bon, I seen you more undressed than that on the stage. And drinking with a strange man ain't gonna hurt you, unless the hooch is bad. Oh. But I can't do that dance. You don't do that oh. number. About time you got wise to yourself. That's right. Ride me, ride me. Well, you don't care what I do. Look here, kid. I think you've always got sense enough to take care of yourself. And that's a darn sight more than I ever had. Where would I get off finding fault with you? Come on, boy, snap it up. Get that makeup on. You got just 20 minutes to get out of the theater. You're fired. Am I going nuts? What is this? Well, you poor stu. The only way I can let you off is to fire you. Huh? Now, you've just got time to make that New York trade. Oh, Lefty. Say, maybe there's something wrong with that hooch after all. I'll never forget you for this, Lefty. That's all right, kid. It's all for the sake of art. There's two ways to take that crack. You know, Bon, this is all a lot of hooey. I can't go away without you. Use your feet. Lefty can't afford to let both of us go. Besides, if they don't treat you right, I've still got my job. Yeah, maybe you're right. Write to me often, Skid. I'll be awful lonesome without you. I'll be an awful sap without you, Bonnie. Maybe the show will be a big flop and I can come back soon. You can't come back. You're fired. Yeah, hey, I never thought of that. That ain't so good. Oh, forget it, honey. It's sink or snow. I don't like the way you say sink. Well, how do you like the way I say swim? Oh, uh, here's our bank roll, Skid. I can't take that. We saved it together. It's yours as much as mine. Oh, I don't need it, honey. You take it. I don't want you to be short in a big town. All right, kid. I'm always going to keep this poodle bag. It was the first one we ever had, wasn't it? Yeah, and we had it a long time before we had anything to put in it, too, didn't we? How'd be a fine-looking sap landing in New York without a clean shirt? <laughs> Don't think I'm doing a tram pack. Don't think I'm scared, darling, because I ain't. But I wish I wasn't going. I have a feeling we're making a mistake. Hey, this is the day I've been dreaming of for four years. My skids day. Boy, you're going to New York and you're going to knock them cold. They're going to see my skids. Boy, they ain't seen nothing yet. Well, I guess that's all. I don't know how to say goodbye, darling. I ain't never said goodbye to you. I miss you, Skid. I love you, Skid. I miss you, Skid. I'm lost already without you, Bonnie. Bye, Bart. I'll write you. And I'll worry you, too. Bye, Bart. Bye, Bart. Bye,
chance to be Signify romance And glorify a melody Beautiful to gaze on While the music plays on Ladies of the dance drift by like fantasies of loveliness and love in the minuet of dear old-fashioned days gone by like a violet. Each maiden was so sweet and shy, but a beauty had as great a power as the more exciting passion flower. That they all adore in the sunny Spain. This young miss can keep Russia hot in spite of the wind and snows. When she does that new Trotsky trot down where the vodka flows, there's a quaint appeal to the real they go for on Aaron's Isle. That's one reason why Irish eyes are noted for their smile. This could never be a really up-to-date review. If you didn't see a glimpse of what the Hindus do, look at this and oh boy, if you were a dough boy. You are so colorful as a chair, and the doll is there. If you like a dish that has a lot of hollandaise, here's a dainty dish that any kind of chef will praise. But if you prefer your shredded wheat, seasoned with a ukulele beat, here is something sweet enough to eat. Ladies of the dance, wherever you may chance to be, signify romance and glorify a melody. But if you are out to make hay, hey, and you want to shout hip, hip, hooray, this is how it's done in you.
Thanks for the use of the hall. <laughs> Miss Meredith, this is Skid Johnson. Hi. Oh, Mr. Johnson, you were the most magnificent thing. Your performance was marvelous, and you were so funny. Thank you. He wasn't funny. It's just his gorgeous personality. Yeah. You were grand tonight, honey. Yeah. Really, I'm tired out laughing at you, Mr. Johnson. Yeah. Hurry up, Skid. You're going out in society tonight. I I'm glad you folks think I got by all right. Got by? You're a star. Yeah. Boy, you won't, Broadway. Yet. Yeah, you haven't heard from him since he left, have you? No. Nope. Are you going to wire him? What's the use? When I wrote him about the heavy affair I heard he was having with Marco, he didn't answer. Then I wrote him to give up the dame or I'd file the old papers, but he didn't answer that either. A dirty tramp. He must know our show's closing. Well, I guess, Lefty, he figures he can struggle along without me. Are you going to look him up in New York? Yeah. Boxes, I'm going to give him now. one last yeah. chance. Bye, Lefty. So long, Bob. You coming down to the car? No, you can pay the fan for a minute. Hello, Bonnie. I should say, Mrs. Johnson. Why, Mr. Howell? I read about the show closing, and being nearby, I thought maybe you would mind if I ran down to see you. May I carry your suitcase? Where are you going? New York. Well, I'm figuring on being there next week. May I call on you? Sure, if you'd like. Well, I'll bet you and that hangover are glad this one's finished. Well, I gave a performance, didn't I? Oh. You did, but some of your falls were a surprise even to yourself, baby. Uh, as long as the audience laugh, I'll get by. I'll get by. Bye for you, Mr. Johnson. Thanks. I'll bet it's another hearts and flowers cry for help. Come on, kid, we're late. Oh, what's your hurry? Oh, we're making a movie. You got the hole that I took for you. Who do you want to see, Miss? Mr. Skid Johnson, please. He ain't here. Oh. Would you happen to know where he went? I'm not your guardian angel. Well, 
I'm Mrs. Johnson. Oh, I beg your pardon, Mrs. Johnson. Uh, do you know if he got a telegram this evening? Yes, he got one. You'll probably find him at Tony. Where's that? Uh, 63 West 49. Oh, thank you. Well. Johnson? Yeah. I want to see Mr. Johnson. All right. Come in a minute.
It ain't. It ain't. Oh, Bonnie. Oh, see, it's great to see you again. This is Osborne, huh? Oh, dumb as ever. Hey, I've been looking for you for three days. Where have you been? Oh, I've been down Atlantic City on a big party. And I ain't done nothing but referee fights. I tell you, Bonnie, girls like us shouldn't get mixed up with nice people. They're too rough. Boy, who's the cuckoo? Harvey Howell. Little brother of Tom Mix. Is he here? Yes. We're leaving for the West tomorrow. Oh, boy, you're a lucky girl. And what a man he is. You read about him, but I always thought you had to die of some before you met one. Well, what's the matter? I can't help feeling that Harvey's getting the worst of it. See, I'd rather die than give a guy like that the worst of it. You know what's the matter with you, Bond? You're still crazy about Skid. Well, maybe I am, but I'm going to forget it. Well, I never knew where I was at with Skid. Never a day's peace for four years. But I got to say I was happy with him. But I made up my mind I wasn't going to be a mug all my life. I made up my mind it was time I found someone who'd do a little worrying about me. Found him, didn't you? <laughs> Say, has he got a brother? Oh, gee, I'd love to get out of this business and go live out west. Well, Harvey says it ain't very exciting in Wyoming. Mm -hmm. You can ride all day and never see a soul. Mm -hmm. But come on out with us, Gussie. I'll give you a swell horse. Yeah, next winter I'd have to eat the horse. Hello. It's Skid. What'll I do? Same thing he'd done to you. Hang up. Oh, I couldn't do that. Send him up, girlie. Of course, what you do is nobody's business. You may get a big kick out of wiping his nose and buttoning up his little panties, but I don't see where it gets anywhere. Skid will always be what he is. You're all wrong about Skid. Everybody's wrong about him. I'm the only one that understands him. All right, dearie, have it your own way. There's your hope for now. Sounds like he brung the whole troop with him. Oh, I want to see him alone. <laughs> Hello, kid. <laughs> boy, meet the wife and don't laugh. Funny. <laughs> hey, boy, bring up a flock of white rock and some ice. Yeah, and a half a dozen glasses. <laughs> Gee, Bon, you're looking great. <laughs> Meet me friend Jerry Evans. He writes songs for me. Pleased to meet you. Step right in, boys. Make yourself at home. Well, if it ain't good. Hi, kid. Fine, Skid. Hello, Lefty. Uh, and if you ain't brought young Paddle Whiskey. Gee, Gus, it's great to see you. Give us a little kiss. Sure. Uh, how long has this been going on? <laughs> oh, I knew Jerry when he wore three cornered pants. Hey, 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 hey. Come on, Jerry, play something. Well, kid, how long have you been in town? A week. A week? Have I got small blocks or something? I don't know. Have you? Well, gee, could you let me know you was here? <laughs> let me have a good look at you. Well, how are you? How are you? In the pink. Yeah, if your nose gets any pinker, you look like a tomato surprise. And I suppose you couldn't come alone. What were you afraid I'd do to you? Well, you wouldn't want me to shake these guys, would you? They've been with me all night. I suppose you're king of the nightclub now. Uh, Bon, stop riding me. Hey, you've been crying. No, I haven't. Uh, you can't fool me. I've seen you cry too often. What's the matter? Ain't the new guy treating you right? What business is that of yours? Sure, I suppose what happens to you is none of my business. I suppose I'm going to forget you're the only girl in the world I ever give a darn about. Yeah, me and how many others? I got tired of being a mob scene. How about that Marco day? Or is she cold turkey? Gee, it's just like old times. Well, I got your little love note. I ain't squawking. But I want you to know, Bunny, I'm sorry. Well, there's a little boy with the white rock. That a boy. <laughs> Put him right down there. Anything else you need, sir? My number is 86. That's all right. There you are. Thank you. Keep the change. 
If there's anything else you need, sir, my number is 86. I know. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> da, da, de, de, de. Oh, oh, give me sunshine. Come on, let's all greet the bar. The best little girl that ever fished a husband's clothes for ever. Here's the bar. Yeah, I suppose even an alley cat thinks now and then that he's... Stop cracking at each other and have some fun. But I didn't start it. I know you didn't. It was all my fault. I was only kidding. <laughs> you never could stand being kidded. I ought to know better. Say, Bob, when are you going to marry that big breath of fresh air from Wyoming? I can't get married till I get my final decree next fall. Well, what are you going to do to land? Going out on his ranch, live with him and his sister. His sister? Yeah. That'll be nice. I know those dames. They want to know all the inside dirt of show business. <laughs> She'd probably ask you if Claude Erlanger was ever really married. <laughs> well, what's the difference as long as they love each other? Oh, anybody. All people have to do is just love each other and get a little sleep. Boy, I'm dead. <laughs> Listen, Skid, uh, I want to talk to you alone. Sure, what is it? Come on, Skid, there. Yes, sir. He said, he said, he said, he said, he said, the applesauce bed. He said, yeah, yo, he jig, he clean, he said, the Columbia bed. Boy, it's like old times. Ain't none of those high-priced chains can dance like Bonnie. You wouldn't kid me, would you, mister? I would if I could, lady. I would if I could. <laughs> hey, Bon, do you remember the first night we spent together in show business? <laughs> do I? Gee, it was cold. We had to sleep sitting up. Yeah. <laughs> and I gobbled the only sandwich. <laughs> hey, Jerry. Jerry, do you know Rosie O'Grady? The wall, yeah, the wall's called, you know, da 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 Oh, yeah. Hey, Vaughn, hey, you remember the old routine? Remember this place? Sure. The Kip Seagull. Yeah. Do you remember the zoo? The zoo, you remember the gang. The gang. Oh. Do you like the zoo? I love the zoo. Do you like the lions? Oh, I love the lions. And the tigers? I love the tigers. And the elephant tigers? Yeah. And the rhinoceros? What are we talking about? A zoo or a hospital? The zoo, silly. Don't you love the dangaroos? <laughs> I never seen any dangaroos. Why, the zoos are full of them. You see the signs all over. Dangaroos? Yeah. Don't you mean kangaroos? Hmm. Dangaroos. How do you spell it? D-A-N-G-E-R-O-U-S. Are those dangaroos? <laughs> sure you want to step by them. I always thought that meant dangerous. <laughs> we live and learn, lady. We live and learn. <laughs> well, how do you like the two kids from the West? Right. All right. Yes, sir. We used to dance. Where's she going? What's the matter with her? Let her alone. She'll be all right in a minute. Well, I didn't do nothing, did I? What could be dumber than a comic? Mm. Hey, Bonnie. Bonnie, come on out, will you? What's the matter? Oh, nothing. I used to love that old number, that's all. Say it yet. Say something different, Jack. Something hot. Come on, dance, kid. Come in. Hello, Bonnie. Are you having a party? Here, party. Come and join. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I hope I didn't stop your music. Won't you go on? I'd be delighted. What would you like? Well, I don't know any of the new songs. 
My favorites are all old, like uh, In the Gloaming. Bonnie, sing that for me, what? Come on, sing it, Bonnie. Yeah, sing it, Bonnie. I'll bet it's great. Celebrating anyway, a wedding or a funeral? Shouldn't we be toasting the bride and singing gay ditties with the groom? Well, I wouldn't have spoken about it if you hadn't, mister. Under the circumstances, I don't want to dwell on my good fortune, except to assure you that it'll be my aim to make life happy for Bonnie. And I'm sure that you being her husband will be glad to know that. Sure, I'll be glad to know it. Why shouldn't I be glad to know that Bonnie's gonna get along all right without me? But what I'm saying is, why can't we be gay about it? And why can't we have the wedding march played with pep and ginger? And why can't I be giving the bride away? Who has a better right to give the bride away? It shows there's no hard feelings. Why do people get sore and crab when they lose out in marriage? Why don't they join in the festivities? Come on, Jerry, play the wedding march and play it fast. Jerry! It's a dancing wedding. Here comes the minister. And here comes the bride. And here comes the groom. Do you take this man? Do you take this man? I do, I do, I do. Do you take this gal? Do you take this gal? I do, I do, I do. To love and obey. We do, we do, we do. Till death do part, till death do part. We do, we do, we do. I mean, I'll pronounce you man and wife, man and wife, man and wife. Come on, say it, everybody. Here comes the bride, here comes the bride. Here comes the bride with her hat. Come on, here comes the bride. Here comes the bride. Here comes the bride. You better go. I'm gone, this bride gone. Goodbye, buddy. Yeah.
Well, how did it go? Any better? How did what go? The rehearsal, you fathead. Get wise to yourself, Lefty. You can't put over a show without comedians. Well, ain't I got comedians? I don't know, have you? No, none of your wise cracks. Get out. Who is it? Friend of yours. Cost me another touch. Well, wait a minute. Send him in. Here's 20 bucks. If you think you can keep sober, go and get yourself a room, take a bath, and be at rehearsal at Bryant Hall at 9 o'clock in the morning. And remember, no booze. This is Friday the 13th. We open a week from Monday in Patterson. So pull yourself together and think up some new stuff. And remember, I'm counting on you. You know me, Lefty. Yeah, I know. The fireman's child. <laughs> You're laughing at me. <laughs> no, I'm not. Well, how did you know we were riding so far? <laughs> I told you it was going to be a long ways back. Have a nice ride? Bonnie did. She's just crazy about horses. Crazy over horses, horses, horses. <laughs> a horseback riding something you've got to cultivate. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here's a telegram came for you, Bonnie. Harvey, for Lefty's sake. You sure you do, honey? Show some pep. Now, this number is supposed to be a wow. Say, unbutton your ears and listen, will you? I'm talking to you. Now, roll your eyes when you do them twists. Make the boys out front think it's real. And smile. Smile. Well, being the movie is the way we fake this vamp stuff. Yeah, all you have to do is roll your eyes at these yokels and they take it personal. Poor goose men are. All right, all right, cut out the gab and now we'll try it again. All right, Jack. Why didn't you do it that way in the first place? All right, girls, you can all go home. I'll be back at 7 o'clock now. Don't forget, this is opening night. Well, 
Well, did you find him? Yes. Well, where is he? Well, that's the sad news. I get him to the ferry and I'm buying the tickets and when I turn around, he's gone. You dumbbell, you hunt two days for a guy and when you get him, you run away from him. Well, there ain't a chance for him to open. This last Sunday was a bird. He's all shot. You're a cheerful guy. Say, if you was a wise fella, you'd put Bozo in the pot and get your show open tonight. Now run along like a nice girl, Gussie. I won't need you and Bozo till 7 o'clock. Yeah, well, you won't need us then. The show ain't never gonna open. Come on, Bozo. Say, what is this, uh... He comes to Friday sings all the time. I don't know. What are we gonna do? I got plans, Jimmy. I got plans. And I got a headache. So beat it, will why, Barney! Hello, Jimmy. Hey, Barn. Gee, it's great to see you. How are you, Lefty? How am I? It's just another world, that's all. Well, what's it all about? Skid. I can't handle them, Barn. And being a big, brave guy, well, I, I wired for you to come and help me. Well, I'll do what I can, Lefty. I'm even right now, no matter what happens to this show. How long can you stay? Oh, just until Skid gets on his feet. Then I've got to join Harvey in Chicago. We're going to be married there. Hi, Lefty. Am I early? Yeah. But tomorrow you are. I've been waiting on the ferry for that guy, Jimmy. He never showed. Who's that? Am I seeing things? You see her, Lefty? Why, sure I see her. Don't kid me. I've been seeing things lately. Hello, Skid. Hey, kid, let me have a good look at you. Hey, you've been crying. No, I haven't. Hey, you can't fool me. I seen you cry too often. What are you doing in this dump? You can't, you know. Come on, wise Mr. Lefty. Mr. Lefty the fox. To get his rotten show open, he, he call you out of the grave. It wasn't exactly the grave, Skid. Well, don't waste another minute around here, honey. I'll open, all right. Nobody has to worry about me. You know me, Skid the fireman's child. <laughs> I'm always there. Sure you are. Come on to your dressing room, Skid. Are you ashamed of me, Bonnie? No, Skid. I've been an awful sap, but... Don't ride me, will you, Bonnie? Don't ride me. I won't. That's right, honey. I've listened to so many lectures, I carry me own slides.
Hey, where is this guy? Something must have happened. <laughs> the show. What are we going to do when he comes to the slide? He'll never make it. He's got to make it. But, but in case he don't, you, you better get Bozo ready to go on in his place. I never thought he'd get through that one. If he gets through the next number, he may be all right.
good. Thank <laughs> you. 